Alright, alright, what up Fantastics? I hope everything's going fine and have a great, uh, I hope you're having a great Sunday. So welcome to another Fantastic Live show. Last week we didn't have one, but now that I managed to actually publish a video on time, which was yesterday, I thought about crap catching up with you guys and, you know, having a little bit like chat and helping you guys out with Finnish culture, lifestyle and language related questions. And, uh... Uh, my week has been quite good, actually. I managed to close another big sale at work. And I've been hitting the gym and meeting my friends. And of course, my, I published a new video for you guys as well. So pretty much everything has been going nicely. Uh, let me know in the chat, where are you watching this live show? Because it's always great to have you guys uh, to, to know where you guys are from and joining this show. By the way, sometimes when I'm doing these live streams, <laughs> I quite often stumble on my words because like when you watch the regular videos, I'm, I, I always edit everything, you know, if I make a mess up, I just cut it and do it again. But here everything goes live. So if I mess up, you're going to see it, but that's, that's fine. So we have Feder chat also here. Karla, Moikka, myös Vladimir. Uh, is here Karen says moi Joe the programmer one of our VIPs almost pretty much I most active fintasks actively been participating in the meetups and also the also the um, uh, live streams quite often Emma is also sending uh, hugging a smiley that's great Anand Menon is also here Joe puts like a highlighted hello hello to you hello to you as well Joe I'm watching Unkarista. Oh, cool. Bangalore, South India. Hello, aus Deutschland. Es ist sehr, es ist immer gut, viel Deutsche zu haben. Latvia living in UK. Saika is also here in Honduras. Cool. Okay, that's pretty good. By the way, if you haven't punched the thumbs up for this stream uh, yet, make sure to do it now. So we can have like a good positive start for this uh, show. Well, we always have a good show, so that's uh, not not an issue, most likely. But uh, the most sometimes if we had any problems, it's mostly like technical issues. So that's pretty good. Uh, yeah. So again, I'm here to help you guys out with uh, Finnish culture, lifestyle and language. The, if you watch the previous video, we talk about money because people always say that or people often tell that Finland is an expensive country and, you know, uh, there's a lot of taxes and after that you have to pay high rents and, you know, expensive food and stuff. Uh, while it might be true, but there's definitely a lot of ways how you can actually save money. And uh, I also carry those kind of habits out myself. For example, eating, dining out in Finland, really expensive. I maybe do it once a month just when we have something special and drinking is also expensive. But if you have home parties, those are more, more cheaper and stuff and so on okay let me see if any questions out hey from southern california watching from philippines cool wow that's all, all around the whole world is joining the joining the show here uh just started a welding course i in hopes of getting employed in finland do you think i have a chance i maybe i'm not really sure about welding but i i, I believe i've heard somewhere that like like professors like welding is actually quite uh, in demand. So I would think so, yeah. And it's it's not really a job where you actually need to speak Finnish that much, so maybe. But I'm not a professional on that side, on that field, I can't really say, but uh, maybe. And what you can do for yourself when you are wondering these kind of things, just make a little bit of research uh, yourself. But uh, yeah, that's what, <laughs> I know it's not really a proper answer because I, I'm not a welding expert, my, unfortunately, so. But yeah, I hope that answer helps a little bit. Vladimir asks, how many money I must have approximately for stable relocation in Helsinki? If imagines what I will have the offer of job, rental, social transport, insurance. Now I study English hard. Well, uh, I think you should watch the two, two past videos I made. In those ones you can get like an idea. Uh, but I think that's actually a good a good video topic as well, like how much you need to live in uh, in Finland in, in general or in Helsinki, because I live in Helsinki, I have a quite good 
idea for that. But of course, that depends on quite many things like such as your salary and your spending habits and if you have kids or relationship, whether you're a guy or a girl as well, because, you know, girls have to buy this like girl stuff like makeup and maybe tampons and these kind of things. So these are all, always all the things to kind of we have to factor in. So but that's actually a good video idea because we've been talking about money quite a bit uh, lately. Uh, all right, do we have any other questions? But would, would that be an interesting video idea you, for you guys? What do you think? Would you like to have like a video where I give some estimations on how much money do you need to live in, in Finland, or in Helsinki, for example? That's, that's actually a good idea. I didn't even think about it. Uh, Emma asks, I would like to ask you about volunteering. Is it common if you have only English, but you will learn Finnish at later times? So I want to do something with animals. I would think so. Yeah, I, ha I haven't got into volunteering myself that much, but uh, I would think so. Definitely. And I, I think there's even some English speaking volunteer spot po positions. Just Google is again your best. bet. OK, let, let's let's try this. Um, Let me try to Google volume. Actually, let me just put this on this screen. Because then I can see like <laughs> what's happening on the screen, actually. Volunteering in Finland. Just like that and see if we get anything. And I'll, I'll share you my screen in a little bit. Uh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So I have to do it like with the... I hope I'm not showing anything nasty to you. Okay, so volunteering in Finland uh, in English. Okay, Kansalais Arena offers something. Maailman it seems there's some stuff. Uh, Info Finland have some odd stuff here. Volunteer work in Finland, locals travel, volunteer. It seems there's a lot of things. Volunteer work at national parks, pretty good stuff. Maahanmuutto uh, Virasto, which is the immigration office. You know, actually there's a lot of things you can check just by Googling. So maybe some of these might be something you might be interested in, so make sure to check out those. So I, I, I actually get a lot of uh, some, I let, <laughs> so actually I get quite a lot of these questions where you can actually find very quick answers by Googling. And, <laughs> and sometimes you can get even better answers from Google because for example, volunteering is not something I really know of. Of course, I, I do appreciate that you ask me, that's fine, but just sometimes just simple Google might, might, be the, uh, might do the trick for you. Uh, good question. Uh, Alex Kart says, I'm a metzuri from Germany. Say good. Is it possible to find work in forestry industry in Finland? Maybe in Kuopio. Well, this is again the same thing. Like, I'm not really professional in forestry industry. And this is just something you kind of have to make research on yourself. And maybe use the, um, the professional barometer where you can check the, if there's anything in, in demand. And uh, But yeah, I'm not really sure how how that works. Oh, we have a super chat from Darian Anderson. I think that's five pounds. Uh, what about camping in Finland? Are we getting the, uh, the uh, rally English bot? I hope we are getting it because usually we it's it's going to activate on the screen. What about camping in Okay, <laughs> there we have it. And I think now we should let's listen. What about camping in Finland? Are you free to access any lakes and rivers and are you able to legally make a fireplace at your camping spot <laughs> cool okay first of all thanks darian for the five pound super chat uh this is actually a very good question and i think this actually uh, is a very good topic for a video uh but the answer is uh yes because in finland we have this thing called everyman's rights or which means that anyone is able to free freely roam in forests uh in lakes and you can also make a fireplace as long as it's not like a fo there's no forest fire warning issued and you are not too close to like the uh, n n to, you're not too close to someone's house for example so let's say if there's some random forest here outskirts of helsinki and i went there i could just set up a camp there and make also a fire as long as there's no forest fire that's uh, as far as i know that's right uh, that's uh, allowed Europe, yeah, basically you're 
you can go to any lakes, rivers, you can fish. There are fishing, uh, there's some restrictions to fishing as well, but if you just have like a very basic fishing rod, you can do that without any any um, any of these, uh, what do you need, permits. And But yeah, making fireplace, as far as I know, is all allowed as long as there's no forest fire. If there's any other fins also, here you can also uh, act, <laughs> comment on my answer but yeah this is actually a very good uh, idea and i believe one of my friends has actually done a video about this topic let me actually quickly shout out her because why not let me just go to uh, youtube quickly so if you're interested in, in this topic i can point you to the right direction right away Hold on, guys, just a sec. Because I think the Yoka Miehen. Yeah, my, la my laptop isn't really the fastest when I'm streaming, so. And my TV just blacked out <laughs> for some reason. I hope it's gonna. Okay, now it's back. Some technical issues. I just realized my backlight is. Oh, no, maybe I should. Uh, every man's right. Okay, well, because it's running a bit slow, let me just write it in the comments. So, Joka Miehen Oikeudet Every Man's Right. So, if you just put this to Google, I'm again quite positive that you will get some good. Um, information sources there if you want to go get to know more but this is a, definitely a good video idea uh, for the channel as well so thanks Darian for the five pound super chat really appreciate it okay let's move off the comments Charlene W Jack says I would love to learn Finnish fluently do foreign students have to pay for their education at the university there despite having to pay taxes while living there do foreign students have to pay their education at university? Uh, uh, you have to pay tuition fee if you come outside of European Union or European Economic Area. And you only pay taxes from your income. So if, if you just study, you're not making any money. Of course, you don't have to pay any income either. Dotzer says, hey, from Holland. Cool. Hello to you too. Welcome to the show. Anand Menno says, you made videos on how to date like a boss and you made fun street video on Tinder on the subject dating. Do you believe this saying is true? Arkamies ei saa kaunista vaimoa. <laughs> this is actually very funny. I'm not sure if I've heard this, but uh, the, basically what this phrase means is that uh, a shy man doesn't get a beautiful wife. And I would say yes or a no, because if you are like what, what i believe that if you want to be successful or dating you have to take action yourself oh uh, okay yeah just something something got uh, discredited uh yeah so if you want to get like a beautiful cool like bright cute girl with bright attitude i think you should take action yourself because you know if you just wait that they come to you it's not really gonna happen it's the same for me like I never get approached by ladies, so I always have to work, do the work myself. So in that sense, it's yeah, uh, yes. Of course, it's not uh, okay. Let's just say that if you do something about it, you have better chances. And for some reason, the nightbot deleted uh, Darian's message. That's quite unfortunate. But luckily, we managed to read the message. Can I actually restore it somehow? Okay, I I don't know, but. I think I need to work on the night, but it's been like working a little bit weird previously. But luckily, we managed to go the go through the. Yeah, okay, night, no, <laughs> damn night, but but yeah, okay. That that was a really good question. And where where are we going? Okay, Lydia, sorry, I'm late. What's the topic today? Uh, we haven't really decided on the topic. I'm just going through the questions and going like on the flow. And my TV again like blacked out. That's fine. Maria Grigorialdi asks, a video about expensive family living in Helsinki would be helpful. Greetings from Greece. Uh, yeah, sounds pretty good. Unfortunately, I'm a single dude. 
I don't have even a partner, so I'm not really a professional professional on that. But uh, go check out. Let me give an idea again. Her Finland. Uh, go to you uh, Google and search her Finland blocks. It's it's a Finnish. It's it's basically a blog. It's kind of the same thing what I do, but blocks and by this all cool Finnish lady called Varpu. And she just sent an email to her email list about her uh, costs. And she has she has a kid. And so there was some like a like a baby. It's like a quite old, young kid. So she she had she had some costs on that. So I think if you go to her blog, you can ask uh, just maybe send her a direct message on Instagram. She can definitely help you out with that, or like maybe send the post to you. Yeah, but that's a good video topic. But I'm not. A, I'm not. I don't know. I don't have any pro professional. No professional. I don't have any experience on that. So can't really help you at at yet at least not yet while wow, my english success today <laughs> charlene w check says or would students have to pay taxes if they come as a student from a country that's visa exempt uh, like paying taxes is always based on your income if you make money you have to pay inc uh, taxes on that but if you don't make any money you don't really have to it's not it doesn't really matter where you come from Bebina says, Moikka moi, tervetuloa Bebina. Do universities have dorms or do you need an apartment? I made videos about this as well. Uh, universities have their own student housing places, like apartments where you can have your own place. I've lived in one myself when I was a student. So I had like a 26 square meter place next to the university. Uh, that was only 360 euros a month, very cheap including the utilities wonder g what about buying a car i heard it's hard to get insurance because newcomers don't have a credit history uh, don't get a car if it's possible i talked about this in the previous video Ca car is just a very very much of a liability it's not like unlike it would be an asset it's not it's a liability because it's very expensive the gasoline the taxes the inspection fees blah 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 so if you have the chance of not if you have the chance to survive without getting a car don't get it of course if you live like somewhere very like in the countryside then a car is pretty much mandatory but if you live somewhere in the helsinki area for example don't get a car like it's it's a car in helsinki is like a nightmare yeah but i don't know about the credit history that's something i i don't really have knowledge myself i think we need to dig up some information on that later Alex says, thank you for your answer. Hope I was, uh, hope it's glad to be helpful you. Fishing without many restrictions. Sounds great. Yeah, uh, you need a fishing permit if you have some professional equipment, but if you just do some really basic one, you don't really need. Joe says, there's no real credit history here apart from having a bad mark. I'm not saying that it might be difficult to credit it the first two years. Okay, thanks Joe for helping out with that one. Yeah, like actually, I I had a talk with my friend about this topic yesterday, and we were talking about do we actually have like credit history in 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 Finland? And we don't. I don't. I don't think we really have one. We just have like this: if you don't, for example, pay your bills, you will eventually get like a mark on your credit history that you have had problems in the past paying your bills, and that might be the problem. Why Finnish people's most important trait is being humble. And do Finnish people before 99 me finish using the marka? Uh, who said that most important trait is being humble? Like we are humble, but this is the most important trait. I I'm no, I don't think so. But I think it's because because here like bragging is considered kind of bad. So talking about your fancy apartment or car and like uh, whatever is not considered like a, a good thing so maybe maybe that's but I, I wouldn't say it's the most important trait do finnish people use the marka well i don't know it's kind of thing in the past does it really uh, does it really make a difference i don't know at least not for me and i think it was 1990 
Okay, when when did we get euros? Was it 99? I think it was earlier than that. Like 95 or 96, I might be wrong. Okay, Knight bought this warning Darien again. Yeah, don't, don't put too many of those emojis. It seems the Knight bot is messing up. Charlene says, I have to go to work now. I'll check this video later. The Gator Spider now was select. Thanks, Charlene, for the questions. Have a gr great day. Uh, Darien says, thanks. Cool. Okay, how much will it cost to maintain own car if you go buy a car every day to work? Uh, does Helsinki have a car and parking tax? Well, you have a parking fees, you don't have parking tax, but that park, well, if you have a, your company might have a parking place for you, depends on the company, but in general, like parking in in, in, in Helsinki is a nightmare. Uh, I let alone talk about the traffic jams. But yeah, it's expensive, definitely. The gas gas is expensive, the taxes are expensive uh the maintenance is expensive i don't know because i don't have a car myself but this is again something you should just google new gender neutral version is yokai and noikas ah okay okay cool emma says maybe you can go speed dating <laughs> well yeah maybe i should i'm actually I, I, when i was a student we had some like this funny speed dating things i think i've done those few times but not recently uh, uh, uh. you can use public transportation in Helsinki yes exactly that's what I do for example and use bicycle uh, Anand Menon says Alexi kindly translate itku pitkästä elosta pierun kauan naaramisesta ja tapahtumaisesta pierut pitää yskeltä <laughs> Where do you get these phrases? So itku pitkästä ilosta basically means that it literally means like uh, cry f like from a long laughter or from happiness. So if you like keep having like laughing and funny, having a good time, then you might something might happen and then you're just like crying. I, uh, that's actually a very interesting one. Beautiful and. And if uh, this last one is like, if you if you laugh a long time, you will eventually fart. <laughs> so that's that's the thing. This last one I haven't heard of before. Tom is as much cheaper. Cool. Para says Finland is the happiest country, but people take too so much antidepressants. Then how it's the happy? Well, we. All, We've already addressed this question many times and there's also a separate video on the topic. Because the happiest country doesn't mean necessarily that people are the most happy. Or, you know, it's like the, because the research, what they used to do, the, re or the, the kind of the questionnaire, it's just, uh, it's basically just a questionnaire and it's just like an index kind of. So it's not, it doesn't really depict the real state of happiness in the countries. And in every, in every country, there are people who take antidepressants, I believe. Loreda Nais also here. Moi kaikille, moikka myös sulle. Tervetuloa. I will check out the video. Thanks you for answering. Cool. Vladimir says, Alexi, may you suggest me any resources similar to Reddit on Finnish language? Where can I little, where can uh, I can a little communicate with people? Uh, well, you can, for example, like what I suggest to do, if you really want to improve your Finnish quickly, get a speaking partner. And in my, in the in the uh, in the comments or in the description, there's a link to iTalki which is basically a platform where you can get very cheap one-on-one -on -one lessons with a native speakers who will teach you to speak the language. And I believe you can get like a lesson with like 14 euros, like a lesson, one hour lesson. And I th it's, it's a very good price considering like if you get like a course, like a class, there's a teacher who tries to teach like 20 people and you actually don't get as much value than having like a one-on-one -on -one tutor. That's definitely the best place to uh, check 
if you want to get quicker results uh, but reddit some facebook groups maybe uh, and I, I, this is definitely a topic for a video again <laughs> but that those are few few ones i got you says hello well hello to you too as well why finish people's most important trade uh, we already asked this question i think uh, alexandra alice is uh here hello 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 one ten seven says Anand Menon cry from long happiness far from laughing long accident far should be mixed with a cup. Ah, okay, yeah. Thanks for the translation. This doctor says hello. Joe says Vladimir, you could talk in one of the channels on Alexis Discord server. And Kevin B just joined the Fantastic Squad. Awesome. Yeah, actually, I have the Discord server, but it's not really active, like from my perspective. Nice fantastic teaser. Oh yeah, actually the guys the new fantastic squad merch is now done. I actually got the sample shirt and it feels really nice. And let me show you where I can actually get this. Uh let just uh just a sec. Oh I have to There's a link in the description actually, like the first I think it's the first thing uh there. But yeah, so we I made you the concept and based on your feedback we tuned it a little bit and this was the end result we had uh, on this one and if you feel you want to support the channel and become like be like a true fantastic you can go to the link in the description and let me just sh uh, show you uh, that we actually have a lot of different fantastic items we've done in the past and this one is the latest one so let me just quickly show you this so this is the one this navy blue i have and this is actually like a premium shirt like because they have like different options and uh, i tried this premium one and this feels actually much better than the pre like the regular like classic ones there's different colors uh, there's black and some gray and this even a little bit lighter blue and there's different sizes and it's you can all, all get this like worldwide so it doesn't matter if you're in the us or in the europe or i think in the asia you can also order this and that's where you could get it so make sure to get your own new brand new fantastic squad shirt uh right now so that's that's about it let me go back to the live show cool what immigrant kids are being taught in the Finnish schools? Well, probably the same stuff as like the Finnish kids. I don't know. I've never had immigrant kids or like I've, I've never been one. So I don't have personal experience, but I would believe it's the same like it as, as another place. What are your wishes and dreams for the future? Well, this is actually a good question. Uh, well, first of all, I would like to work on this channel in the future as well. Maybe like ideally maybe full-time sometimes i'm not really sh sure like how, where this channel is still going but at the moment we are growing and things are growing going quite not quite quite nicely and what one of the things what i like to do is get out of the working life in in that sense that i don't have to go to like a nine to five job i can for example work on this or let's say my investments are making mo money for me so i don't have to actually like trade my time for work try my, my trade my time for money that's one of my uh kind of wishes and one of the reasons for this is for example that if i get kids eventually so i don't have to kind of you know juggle my time between my work like this nine to five job and my kids so i can actually just stay at home work like see my kids grow and stuff but that's still kind of long way to go I, I don't have a part even a partner yet so we'll see but those are just a few things you can also get a parking permit that costs some area you will it's if it's area that always you have parking fee yes like parking always costs in helsinki especially i just got back from finland oh what happened uh I just got back from Finland and I forgot to take my test party in my personal space. Ah, yeah, yeah, cool. 
I went out with some friends and I'm planning on making them laugh. That's funny. Yeah. Sophie Drahen says, hello, hello, hello. Being humble isn't a great characteristic. I mean, it's a great characteristic, but someone says like, what, is it the most important for Finns? That's what we, I was a little bit questioning. Anand Menon says, Alexi, foreigners and Finns often complain about high rents. Is that why they say suomalainen talonpoika on parempi kuin herra? It seems you have found these sayings quite a bit. Uh, well, the rents are only high in the Helsinki area. I mean, and in, if like closer to the city center, like in Tampere or Oulu or Kuopio, like the rents are very cheap or like cheaper. So you can get like like a like a residence with the same money you pay here for like a simple place. How much can you earn on average after taxes in Helsinki? Again, this is like a very very job dependent. Like if you're like a software developer, you can make uh, f probably f f three thousand. Like okay, let's just talk or even more, and, and so on. So it's it depends. Like it's very difficult to give any accurate accurate numbers, which is like this kind of information. And the thing is that I don't even know because I'm I'm a sales manager myself in IT field, and my sales depend my salary depends on how much I make sales. But that's a, that's another like a good video topic, if I made some research that could, uh, and there there are definitely some statistics on this. I mean, I think you should find this on just by googling again. Okay, okay, let's let's try again. I mean, this googling is so simple. Average. What happened? Let me just close my TV. My TV started to make some weird noise. Salary in Finland. Let's see what we get. Okay, first result we get the statistics. Really simple. Oh my, no signal. Sorry guys, there's some problems with my... I need to... Okay. Let me just get my TV back on because my streaming is on on the TV screen. So okay, and now it now it's like blinking. There's something something wrong here now. Let me just reconnect it again. Just a sec, guys. No signal. What? What the fuck? Okay, let me. Can I just? Oh, I cannot back. Okay. Yes. Okay. Chris statistics as the first search result. So, guys, this is this as simple as this. Average monthly salaries inch up to 3,300 euros. That's actually pretty nicely. When when is this? Ah, uh, this is four years ago. Okay, but I mean, it's, it's still like gives at least a guideline. Uh, where's the stats themselves? Because there was like a picture. Okay, but let's just see what they have. Employees pocketed highest median incomes with best paid doctorate degrees. Median monthly among PhD holders. 5,000 euros, that's pretty good. On the flip side, workers with secondary school education, such as practical nurses, electricians, had much smaller prey packets, medians reaching 2.6. Sector wise, fattest paychecks were recorded in social healthcare field, where the average was 5.5. Wow, that's a lot of money. Workers with training in humanities and arts, with educational research, blah, blah, 3.7. Okay, guys, so this is, I mean, just Google. Google is your best friend with everything and and you can get some pretty easy answers just with the, some simple effort. So make sure to use that. You can lessons for less than 14 euro on iTalk if you study with a native speaker, not a professional teacher. Okay, great. Yeah, thanks Loredana for the 
Mikä se on lisäys? But additional information. Lawyer says, what's the best way to make friends in Suomi, especially if you want to live, work and have a Finnish passport because having a great friends and so great spouse in Finland helps a lot of getting Suomi passports. Actually, it does, uh, well, it can help with that indirectly because the requirement for Finnish passport is a sufficient Finnish language skills. And of course, like Finnish friends, if you have Finnish friends, you can practice the Finnish. So in that sense, I have made a video on this. There's a separate video about this topic. How to make friends with Finns. That's gonna be the answer. Hanna is... Ah, terve Hannalle myös. Hei Aleksi, sun kanava on tosi hieno. Milloin teet videota suomeksi? Totta, hyvä kysymys. Periaatteessa voisin tehdä vaikka heti, mutta siinä on se ongelma, että ne pitäisi vaan kääntää. Ja siinä menee mulla tosi paljon aikaa, niin... Se on vähän niin kuin tuotannollinen haaste siinä mielessä. Periaatteessa, jos joku haluaisi, mä voisin vaikka maksaa siitä, jos joku kääntäisi ne sit siitä, siitä, niin se voisi olla ihan tehtävissä. So Hanna is actually, let's give a shout out to Hanna also, because she is also here on the, she made a comment, so let's go to her blog. Mikä se oli? Random Finnish lesson, I think. Random Finnish lesson. So Hanna is a professional Finnish teacher and she runs like a really kick-ass blog for Finnish learners. So if you want to get some good information on how to how to uh, learn Finnish, go to her blog. She makes free, some really kick-ass... Oh, <laughs> he's also like recommending me. That's pretty good. I didn't know that. Thanks, thanks uh, Hanna for that. Yeah, but let's let's give also a Hanna a shout out. So she makes some pretty good blogs, and I believe she also teaches Finnish. Like she gives private lessons, I believe, if I'm not completely mistaken. So, uh, like very 100 very common Finnish words, things to read in easy Finnish, material for teaching yourself Finnish, really good. So make sure to come here and check out uh, her blog. It's randomfinnishlesson.com. Like this is the name. So make sure to check out her blog when you get the chance. Okay, let's go back to the questions. Uh, a lot of good questions, by the way. This I think I'm not able to catch all of this, but I try to answer as many as I can. By the way, if you haven't hit the thumbs up for this live stream, make sure to do that because I need to see some likes. <laughs> I always try to come up with a good excuse to get make you click the but yeah, just do it. Uh, what is the best strategy to find a house in Finland? Is it better to find a job after that and fall flat and have to manage the bureaucracy to have the ID person number? Uh, that's a good question. Maybe so. Maybe do you Cho? Maybe Cho knows answer to this one uh, because I haven't gone this process myself but this sounds again like a video topic so unfortunately I don't have the personal experience on this so but yeah we, we I will probably make a video on this later if I interact with any Finnish with any officials can they understand my English uh, yes, like every everyone can speak pretty much. Ev pretty much everyone can speak English in Finland, so no problem. Is Paras a Finnish name too? No, it's not the name, but it's a word. It's a noun. Paras means the best in Finnish. Where are the ladies shirts? Okay, so we want some smaller around. Okay, uh, they actually have some ladies shirts. I can uh, I can go and add that for you guys. Good point. Like this is again something I completely <laughs> didn't realize. But they have actually ladies shirts. There's actually different options there. But I can add a few, and then you can just make the choice. But that's a good point. I will add those after this stream. Very good point. But uh, this this shirt, what's which I saw, it's like a unisex. So it's like you just like a unisex shirt. But if if you want the like the ladies option, they do have like a ladies shirts. I can go and add it later on. William also here. Morjesta Washingtonista, Alexi. Morjesta, morjesta. Ja kiitos 
hyvästä sähköpostista myös aikaisemmin. Hanna Larsson says, what's your university major? I used to study... Uh, hold on. It's like business. <laughs> What did I used to study? My, my degree certificate is on, on, the, on the top shelf. I, I think I studied in my master's. I studied knowledge and competence management. What the hell? Whatever that is. Uh, but yeah, the, the degree program was basically business and technology. So it's like kind of like business and IT studies put together. Really good uh, degree in general because that's 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 very in you can get very good jobs here in Finland it's like a lot of question a lot of uh, demand in that field or maybe even a lower neck cut yeah okay i will i will make that happen later on uh uh, uh. Hobby circles, clubs, blah, blah. Alexi, what is a more easier way to join into a Finnish language course? What is more easier way? Uh, I don't understand the question here. If you want to join a Finnish language course, you just find one and join. I, I, I don't see like what, what, what maybe I, I think I need a little bit more context on this. If your English is fine, then you should have no problems. Yeah, like everyone understands English here, pretty much. Oh wow, you're also doing streams. Yeah, we do streams, if not every week, every other week. Please make a videos for foreigners who want to be entrepreneur in Finland. I have made a video about this. There's a video like how to start your business in Finland. If you go to my channel and search for that one, you can find it. Alexis' own online course, most big cities have their own online language courses that you could up. Yeah, thanks Joe for the <laughs> shout out. Like, yeah, actually I have my own, I have made two spoken Finnish courses for beginners. Those uh, are re really good ones if you want to check them out. Uh, I think you can get the f the free one from the link is in the description if you keep scrolling from through my, when you join my email list, I will send it to, to you and you can start learning from there. Great. I, I believe there's a little bit lag with this stream, but I guess it's fine. Or is it? Skip ahead to the. Ah, okay. I, I think because actually the what you guys see, I was actually not on the live, but now 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 it's live. Okay. Uh. Uh. uh, 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 uh. Depends completely on the job. Hard to say. Over two. Even three. I hope your dreams are fulfilled. You should do more street interviews. Yeah, I've, I'm planning to make some street interviews. There's some really nice video topics I have. 3.3 per month on average. I think it was 3.3 gross. So before taxes. I think it makes more sense. Like 3.3 <laughs> net salary sounds a bit too much. There is also this site where I usually check average salaries. Oikotustie or something. Maybe oikotie. Or something I can't remember the salaries, but this is another video, good video topic. I mean, how to check the salaries, and you know, because this is something I get asked quite, quite often. Ano nushiki 3.3 before tax. Yeah, I believe it's before tax. Yeah. Geo Maversex, moikka, moikka, moikka. If you have unlimited amount of money, would you still live in Finland? That's actually a very good question. Uh, maybe no, or like maybe half the time I would travel somewhere and. I would come back for the warm, 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 the summer. But that's actually very good. On ihan varma, että sun fanes löytyy sellaiset, jotka kääntäis sun videota mielellä. No joo, no en tiiä, siis se on... Se on kuitenkin aika työlästä hommaa se kääntäminen. Ja mä voisin kyllähän siis maksaakin sit jollekin, jos joku haluaa jotain pien, pientä tota, taskurahaa kyllä, että... Koska se on kyllä semmonen, minkä mä mielelläni ulkostasin. <laughs> ulkostasin, koska se editointi vie aika paljon aikaa muutenkin, niin... So if there's any Finnish people who'd like to translate my videos, because Hanna was asking or requesting to make, to, for me to make videos in Finnish, and I would like to make videos in Finnish. It's uh, it sounds like a fun idea. The problem is that it's 
it's just gonna increase my workload because I have to put the subtitles and translating. And if there's someone who would like to do that for me, I mean, that would be great. Because, yeah, that's that's the only kind of like a block for me. Because like, it's like the editing itself is already a very mechanical process, which I would love to outsource already <laughs> at this point. I managed to understand the question because it was written, not the answer. Oh, I've been using a blog a lot. Cool. Thanks for the Hanna link. Yeah, go check out Hanna's blog. Yeah. Even 2.6 per month on average is wishful thinking after taxes. Yeah, it, I guess it depends. Yeah, it's more in the I earn after taxes. I mean, IT through by local standards, developers usually earn a bit more than me. All right. I barely even managed to order a taxi. Yeah, well. Uh, of course, if you go to very small towns or cities, then it's a bit difficult. But if you are in the bigger cities and if you approach like younger generation people like me or similar, then it would be quite possible to have a conversation in English. Uh, 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 ah, Nightbot is like messing up again. I'm in Spain currently. Okay. I'd like to help with the subtitling if Alex does more Finnish switch, but I guess I have to speed up the language learning for that. Hanna at Alex. Cool. Yeah. That would be great. It was Huitin and indeed a rather small town. Yeah. Okay. I believe like if you go to some, some place like small place like that, then there's definitely less English speaking people. What is the salary of Android on Python developer? I don't know, but I would believe it should be quite nice. I think you should make a video about taxes in film. <laughs> uh, that's gonna be quite a quite a video. Well, th there's th this few taxes that are valid everywhere, like value added tax and income tax. Uh, is it capital tax? Because of payout, vero? And uh, what else? Well, oh, and then there's like special case like inheritance tax. Like if you inherit from your parents like a house, then you have to put pay some taxes and stuff. But yeah, it's a, it's a very, it's a good idea. I think I will write it down anyways. I think I should write this down right away because I will forget <laughs> eventually. I just open a notepad here because that's not. That's not going to take any capacity of my crappy laptop. By the way, I'm really happy that the stream hasn't crashed. <laughs> so taxes in Finland, salaries in Finland. A lot of this money related topics, but these are good. I mean, I believe it's very important. Okay, I wrote those two down at least. Uh, uh, uh. Sophie Drachen says, hey, apologies about my Finnish, but I wonder how Finnish differs from English. Because English has lots of words with letters that aren't pronounced. Well, to, l <laughs> to let you know, Finnish is quite diff uh, different. Uh, like, okay, well, the semantic... Oh, let me think about this. Syntax. Well, the syntax, the grammar, like the way how sentences are formed, no, it's the semantic. The semantic way, the semantic aspect is quite similar. Like, for example, I speak English. Minä puhun englantia. Like, you know, the structure is quite similar. But then there's like, for example, the pronunciation is quite different. And the grammar, there's a lot of a few things, you feel these kind of major concepts in the grammar that are different. But, uh, I mean, the way how you formulate the thoughts into words is quite similar. For example, let, let, me, let me give you a counter example. Like Japanese is, for example, very different. Like the, how, how the language is like kind of used to make, make sentences is very different. But in, okay, that was kind of, I, <laughs> maybe I didn't understand or I don't know. But uh, the answer is that, what was the <laughs> original question? <laughs> oh my God. Yeah, the tra pronunciation-wise, it's very different, but it's also quite easier. The, the 
it's much more consistent and straightforward in, in Finnish. Alex, can you do a video about Ukki, language test for Finnish citizenship? Uh, I guess. And I think Hanna had already a post on that on her blog. So if you want to get some quick info, maybe you should check out Hanna's blog. That is a really small town. I just checking Glassdoor, but I'd say Glossary 3 to 4.4 fairly experienced Android developers. Makes sense, makes sense. Uh, wow, so many questions coming in. I wonder if J.R. Tolkien was inspired by Finnish. I think that is the case. I've seen articles finding that he, uh, she, it's she, right? She uh, was actually learning some Finnish to get inspire, inspiration for the Elvish or the Elven language. Chime in Finland. Nowadays in my country, Indonesia, there's a scammer who advertised Kesätyö to Finland and asked the client to pay some administration fee to apply it. Oh wow, that's that's a bummer. That's definitely a bummer. Just report them to the police if possible. Ulstar says, Mene Suomi. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm not sure if demand for Python is that high. I think Java, Top and C next might be. Uh, What is the salary for Android or CC++ in Finland? I uh, I don't know. I have done a software software engineering minor in my studies, but I don't really know what's the exact numbers. What are some traditional Finnish foods eaten during the holidays, Christmas, New Year's, or winters? Uh, I have made videos like Christmas. I made Christmas videos explaining this and then I have also like this Finnish food like Finnish dessert video explaining this so I I suggest, suggest you get go check out those uh, What are the jobs a foreigner can apply as a starter once coming to Finland again? This is very difficult to answer because it completely depends on your background your skills and so on. Of course, you can always apply for like this cleaning jobs or like post de paper delivery stuff, or maybe go to like as a carrier, or what is it, like a delivery guy for Volt or Uber, like taxi driving, these kind of things. But yeah, it's not not really. I can't really answer that. Veros website available in English if want to publish. Yeah, that's that's good. Yeah, good stuff, Joe. Oof, I live in Romanemi, so I barely go to southern Finland. All right. What is the salary for Adlob? Well, it seems we, these same questions are repeated. I just love how Finnish sounds. Ha, <laughs> cool. How to find a job in Kajani? Like, like, guys, I get this question all the time. How to find a job in Helsinki or Kajani? It's, it's, this, it's the same process in everywhere. Like, you find a job application, you apply go to interview and hopefully get accepted uh, there's no <laughs> there's no really difference like how on, on the practical side where was I for people looking for jobs here you could look up the companies and, and here that check their individual websites for job vacancies and possible salary information yes good information by Joe really practical can any immigrant retiree enter university as funded degree seeking student uh i believe so yeah it doesn't really matter how old you are cool uh hello greetings from poland cool i was in krakow last last spring how does university restaurant work in finland there's discount for students yes all the meals in student disc uh, student restaurants are 2.6 euros which is like nothing and you, the meal is pretty good. I use them always, <laughs> usually more than more than once a day, and that's very good. Everyone should use if you are a student. An angry teenager says hello. I am in the MUN and I'm a delegate of Finland. What is MUN? I mean, this could come off as offensive, but what are typical Finnish surnames? I think anything with N at the end. 
sorry, that question was offensive. Wasn't that offensive at all? At least not to me. Uh, yeah. Uh, you can actually find this information again on <laughs> if you just Google. I believe also in English. There is this, actually this uh, like a service where you can look up the most used, most common names. I'm. I actually have that. <laughs> that also as a video topic. I haven't done the video yet, but. But yeah, anyone, anything with Nen is pretty common. Virtanen, Lahtinen, Korhonen. J D G says, "Hey, Alexi. Hello, hello. By the way, if you haven't hit the thumbs up, make sure to do that because we will want to end the week with a kickass. <laughs> kickass, what? What? Well, this my, my my jokes doesn't make any sense today. Are internships paid in in Helsinki? It depends. I think there might be paid and non-paid internships. What is the salary of a taxi driver? I don't know. Google, guys. Google, please. There's a restaurant discount for students. Blah blah blah. Maybe open to everyone, but students can get the lunches. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, you don't use the student restaurants unless you are not, unless, like, if you're a student, use them, but uh, if you're not, if you're not a student, then the price is just, like, kind of high. I just feel my courtesy could off from, like, that might be the context of the question was. Okay, cool. And I have made, about these job seekers, I have made also a, a video, like, websites where to find jobs. JJ says, greetings from Texas. So in the USA, most people like to vacation in Mexico or beaches in Hawaii. Is there a typical place Finns like to vacation? Yeah, I think like uh, like some warm countries like Greece or Spain or uh, like this kind of place. There definitely are like these warm South European countries, I believe. Model United Nations. I'll be representing Finland. Okay, I, I haven't heard of this MUN. Model United Nations. I, I know United Nations, but mod, Model United Nations. Am I being ignorant? <laughs> Canary Islands that belongs to Spain is part of EU. Yeah. By the way, Alexi, is it necessary for foreigners who settle in Finland to go through the army to become Finnish citizens? No. But if you get the Finnish citizenship, then you might have to go to the army because then like when you the moment you get Finnish citizenship, you are treated just like any Finnish person. And if you are a guy and you're under 30, you become like a liable or what, what, I don't know, whatever you, you call it. But you have to go to the army. So that's kind of the thing to keep in mind. Uh, I saw some kind of salary in Helsinki. I was surprised they are about the same. The difference is small between cool program and taxi driver. The difference not more than 10%. Is this really? I don't know. It sounds, li sounds like, because I will believe programmers have much better salary than taxi drivers. Because programmer is a high, high skilled. It's like a special, special, like a skill. Doesn't Virtan translate something like a lake or something in English? Uh, Virta is like a stream, like a stream, like a river. So almost like, yeah, it's not lake. So it's ja Järvinen, olis. Yeah, Järvinen would be like a lake. I am from the Netherlands trying to learn Suomi, long way to go, but I love the language. Cool. Any requirements to work in the security industry, the Finnish language? I don't know. Unfortunately, I don't know. Why are your settings in German? Like on your phone and your example, I think you piece it. I've noticed and I consider. Are you trying to learn German? Yes, well, I, I can speak German. And my goal for this year is to become as good uh, is to become as good in German as, as I am in English. So that's why my phone is in German. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, stream, I was close. What is like in Järvinen? Yes. Järvi. Is uni in Finland hard? How long do you have to study in advance? Where can I live to study one week? 
uh, like studying in Finnish universities isn't that hard. It's quite relaxed, quite chilled, and uh, yeah, it's it's not like super strict. It's more like fun, but you still learn stuff on the go, and there's a lot of good study facilities. What is the salary of government offices? I don't know. How was life for you in the army? I have made a video about this army stuff. But uh, I served one year. So I got the junior officer training. And I think it was pretty good. Most For the most part. Model United Nations is an international program for secondary education students. They... DI simulation activities to better understand international relations. Okay, I didn't know that. Karjalainen would be in someone with the Karjalainen region or a family member from that area. It's just, uh, yeah, if you have a, if you have a surname Karjalainen, it doesn't mean that you are from Karelia necessarily. It actually means like Karelian if you literally translate Karjalainen, but it doesn't necessarily mean that you are from Karelia, I believe. The difference between salaries are much smaller here than in other countries. The top jobs don't pay as well as in other countries, but the lowest are paid pretty well. Okay. Hey, from Arkansas, everyone just got off work, but I made it. Okay, good to have you here, Crystal. William says, the student represent different countries and learn more about those countries and their perspective in different issues. Try to represent those positions in debated negotiations. Okay, that's interesting. J back. In some countries, the hiring follows the process when you, in most cases, best candidate gets a job and do not depend so much on inter referral for the current employees. How did you, how did get your job? Uh, so how, how I got my job, I saw that this company, company's CEO, or, or he was, um, he was a sales director back then. Now he's a CEO, and he was my student buddy so he, i was his uh, facebook and linkedin connection and he shared the like this funny recruitment video and what they said in the video like if you want if you're interested in this job don't send your cv an application but instead call me ag agree sell sell yourself to your meeting and in that meeting sell yourself to the company and that's what I did. I remember the guy already back in the university. So I called him like, hey, it's Alexia. Do you remember me? And then he's like, hey, aren't you? The yeah, I think you're the guy who in the videos. And then, yeah. then we agreed on a meeting. I met the guy there and, and this, honor, uh, this chief uh, operating officer. Then I, w I was just using my sales skills. So I was like asking them questions like, okay, why are you looking for new people? What does the company do? And then I say like okay i can do this and this and this you should hire me and the next day uh, the next day they called me hey we want to hire you so that's how i got the job but that's that that's quite different like that's very different like usually you have make an application cvs and stuff and i'm really glad that i didn't have to do it for this job because all they were interested in is was the sales and in the in the sales meeting kind of meeting or interview I brought up my interesting background for sales and, and so on. The students represent different countries. Ah, okay, I read this one already. Oh, I live in Austria, uh, so I know German. Good luck on learning greetings from Austria. Yeah, German isn't really difficult. I mean, German is quite straightforward as a language. Just wondering. Okay, I don't want to go to jail. <laughs> What was the question about the jail? I think I missed it. There's so many questions and comments. By the way, if you want to make sure I answer your question, you can follow uh, what was what was his name who sent the super chat. Can I can I review it here? So yes, yeah, so you can send this super chat. You will get this bright message and it will be read by the Rangli in Rally English bot. And I will always answer the super chat ones. So if you want to consider supporting the channel by a super chat, consider to do it. You can use the dollar button below the below the chat. Is it not mandatory to do military service in Britain? You can choose to join the navy. I wonder military service in fin yeah. Uh, why is it compulsory? It's because Russia, you know. So we kind of have to be prepared for. 
if, if something happens. That's probably the biggest reason. If you don't want to go to army, then you can do this kind of like a civil service. Uh, but that's always one year. So basically you work in a library or some, some, some place like this. And uh, you have to serve there one year. You can also do it that way. If you go to work in summer on a bicycle, then stop the fast and on the fence. Will it not be stolen? You you should always lock your bicycle. Like that's that's something that happens sometimes that you get your bicycle stolen, which is kind of unfortunately. But that's it's important. Always lock your bicycle. Uh, what is your height? I'm 194 or six foot. Six four. Are Finnish and German very different from each other? Uh, well, it's the same like being like Finnish and English. <coughs> German grammar is more, 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 way easier. Finnish German is well only required by the regulator in the early 20th century. They often had geographical base because before people used to have their name, pattern, or where they're different from. Okay, that's interesting. It's it's always kind of surprised me like how how better how much better you guys know about some Finnish stuff than I do. Well, it makes sense because you are curious and you've been studying this subject, and I'm just like a regular dude who's been living in this country. So something as I some things I don't even like kind of realize or I don't have, like rationally think regularly. Sorry for making your military service compulsory. Yeah, but I don't. I mean, it's not. Fu it's not a problem. I. I think it was quite fun experience and quite good. If I live in a condominium, what is that? I live in a free tobacco smoke apartment where I don't exist secondhand smoke from people below your apartment entirely unlegally legal to smoke inside your apartment. Yeah, in in Finland, it's also quite illegal. Actually, not. It's not illegal to smoke inside the apartments, but. Uh, for example, uh, this is rent, rented, so my landlord has forbidden smoking here because it would ruin all the, you know, the ceilings and stuff. And there's no, for example, balconies, at least on here on my side. So, and uh, I believe there's this kind of voluntary, like a law, that the, how, the, what's on taloyhtiö? Taloyhtiö, there's like a, the, the, basically the, there's basically like all the blocks of flats are managed by this like a it's kind of like kind of like a type of like company and uh, they can voluntarily like pass a law that it's all it's not allowed to smoke in the balconies which is i think it's pretty good i don't know what's the case in my place but i've never had the problem of smell to like smell the cigarettes and stuff Some people used to change surnames if they moved. There are examples among my ancestors. Mm -hmm. In which university you studied in Japan? It was Kobe University. Kobe. Only similar language to Finnish, Estonian, Hungarian. Cool. Finnish is most spoken in language family. Yeah, that's right. I wonder, can you learn Finnish from music? There was a really good rock band that performed music called Happuradio. Yeah, I know Happuradio. I mean, uh, my point for that. Like if you should learn Finnish from music, uh, I would just use like a passive way to learn because the the lyrics and sometimes the grammar can be kind of like a poetic, like poetry style. So it's not really like a it's not really like a natural Finnish always. It depends on the style and the band and so on. So don't, for example, take the lyrics to like literally because it's not always like this natural it's natural type of finish because they just make it to sound like more cool and more, more different if i find a wife in helsinki can i get the finnish passport uh no it doesn't have anything to do with that you can get the residence permit yes but not not a passport Why aren't they allowed to release people's names in the news that have committed crimes on things like that? It's case by case. It's not always like that. 
there's definitely <laughs> yeah I, I there's a lot of these big cases where they do release the names but for example if there's like kids involved and these kind of things then it's a bit different I'm British and I discovered them. They sound so American, but they were Finnish. All right. Are we actually okay? I think I caught up with all the comments. That's pretty cool. There was also a band named Deep Inside from Finland, which I enjoy very much. I haven't heard of that one before. How long do people have to serve in the army in Finland? It's at least. Uh, I think nowadays it's 5.5 months, less than a little bit less than six year, six months, and you can serve up to 12 months. On, they can apply. In Finland, this taloyhtiö actually owns all the apartments, and you you own a part of this cooperative. So what is this basically means that the majority of residents can set some rules for everyone. Cool. Alex, do I need a bachelor's degree to be sponsored by a Finnish employer? Uh, no, I, it, it depends on the employer. I don't, I don't know what you mean by sponsored in this case. Is it a good idea to buy a house in Finland? If yes, how much do they cost around Helsinki Espo? Like, by house, do you need? Do you mean like a real house that's on a property, or do you mean just an apartment? Like for example, I'm in an apartment. Do you mean buying this place? Uh, I mean, if if you plan to stay here in the long long run, then buying a property might be good. I don't know anything about the prices. How much does it cost for internet usage in Finland? Well, internet is very cheap. For example, I pay 100 megabytes, unlimited use, uh, 10 euros a month. Very good. But it depends on their service provider. So, but basically it's very cheap. Do you need a permit to set up a pop-up food stand in Finland? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, I, 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 no comments because I don't know. What kind of entertainment do Finns have? Do many people know how to ski or snowboard? I think skiing and snowboard is quite popular, yeah. What happens to your pay from your job while on national service? For example, if you have a loan, you will still need an income to cover the repayments. Okay, this is a very good point. Uh, let's, for example, if you have to go to army, you are you have a place. Like for example, I have a, I'm renting this place. If I had to go to army or do this kind of like, a, uh, like sometimes they might call you for like retrainings. But yeah, okay, let, let's just take the army service. Uh, Gela, so, so the social security organization will pay you your rent while you serve in the army, and I think the same thing applies for like, like, uh, like for you. Well, okay. Well, let's say for example, your employer cannot hire, uh, cannot fire you because of your army service. So uh, yeah, so the Kela will step in. Like if you have the army, you have a place, to, place to, you're renting a place. Kela will pay your rent while you are in the service. Or would my, uh, if I were to go to Finland, my user's British network, would I have to buy another phone in order to make calls over there? Uh, 
Well, that's a good question. Normally because European Union lifted all roaming fees, which means that like, okay, let's say if I went to, okay, let me give a practical example. I went to, I went to Poland last spring and because Poland is part of European Union, just like Finland is, there's no roaming fees. So I used my phone just like I, with the same prices as I would have in Finland, back in Finland. So there was no restrictions because the roaming, li roaming fees were lifted. Uh, in this case, because we have Brexit, uh, I don't know what's the case, but if you, I think, well, Brexit hasn't still happened, I guess, or it, I'm, I'm not, not quite, quite sure. Uh, but yeah, technically, if you go to another EU country, you can just use your phone and with the same price as you would back in your home country. And I think that's very good. And your yeah, I'm not sure if you ever traveled abroad, but your phone automatically registers to your local local phone network when you do that. Okay, I think we will take a few more questions. Uh, we're already like one hour, one hour twenty minutes. But that this was actually pretty quite interesting questions and comments and. thoughts uh, I heard the state make it compulsory for employees to check for a bachelor's before they could give you work permit uh, no nope. I never heard of this before because the employer will decide how qualified you are so it's not like a legal requirement I believe How can you find a summer job in Finland? Well, again, this is the same question that gets gets, gets asked all over and over. Uh, well, it's basically the same process with just with like a regular job, but it's more about the timing. Like this is the time when people should be actively applying for a summer job if you wanted to get one. If you have a residence permit for two years, can you move your parents to Finland? Uh, well, the, your parents have to apply for a residence permit based on family ties, and I don't know what's the case here. Good night, Alex. It's nearly midnight here in India. I need to get to work tomorrow. Thanks for answering all the questions. Looking forward to your next street video. Thanks, Anand, for the questions, and happy uh, Sunday night, and good night, and good luck with your work tomorrow. Well, my question is, does really Finland government provide free education for all child? Uh, yeah, pretty much. All the way to university, you don't really have to pay tuition fees at all. So, in that sense, yes. If your parents stay longer than the tourist visa allows, you need to register. It's three months, I think. Yeah, I mean, it depends. Like, if they have... Yeah, okay, well, I don't know. I'm not a sp specialist. My network tree will keep the free roaming. Okay. Cool. A lot of... We have 48 people watching this. And we... Today, we, we had clearly like a emphasis on like this working money and immigration related things Persias Parlamas says hi if you want to have a Finnish citizenship do you have to drop your other citizenships well Finland allows dual citizenship so no but if your home country or whatever citizenship you hold uh, it depends on that. For example, Japan doesn't allow dual citizenship for people who are more than 22 years old. So at that point, they have to decide which citizenship they keep. But Finland allows dual citizenship, so that's that's fine. Please shoot the video about transport metro. I've already done that. There's like a very exp extensive video about that public transportation. Make sure to check it on my channel. Hi, does it matter in the case if I apply for a job, if I do my Finnish language exam in my country? 
better to do it Finland. Uh, it does. It, do, it doesn't matter because, like, if if you get the job without any Finnish skills, then the Finnish doesn't have any practical meaning. But uh, unless you're applying for a citizenship, that's the only thing that requires you to speak Finnish. But if you just get the job here without any, if if you manage to get the job without any Finnish, then that's it. Welcome to Finland. I'm planning to come to Helsinki in September. Do I back to summer or winter clothes? Uh, well, probably neither. It's probably the clothes for summer, for fall, autumn clothes. But of course, like, get if you have winter clothes, you can of course bring them over because we're heading towards winter at that time. Is medical cannabis legal? Uh, no. Not not yet. Doomer cigarettes. Thank you, Alexi. You're the man. Thanks, man. Or thanks, Doomer. Why is Finland the world's happiest country? I have made videos about this. If you go to my channel, there's really good conversation and explanations over there. Have you been enjoying this warm winter in Helsinki? Yeah, I guess so. I don't really mind the cold. Or I do mind the cold, actually, so I don't mind the warm. <laughs> A citizenship question. There's cases in Britain and Ireland where you get automatic citizenship by virtue of one of the parents being either part Irish or British. Does it work the same in Finland? Yes. Uh, I believe so. If your parents, one of the parents is like born Finnish, I'm not quite sure, but I would believe it, it works the same way. But that's... Uh, that's You can find the requirements on, on, on the website again. Okay, let's take a few more questions and then we will finish this. We will finish the finish stream. By dual citizenship, you have finished or another one, two in total, or can you have two more? I'm asking because I have two. Uh... That's a good question. I don't know how that works. But again, Google should give you the answer. It's still not winter in Helsinki. Yes, definitely no. Okay, guys, thanks for all the comments and questions. It was a really interesting stream. Uh, make sure to check out the new Fantastic Squad merch. Links in the description. And I will go add some female options. Options for you guys as well. And... and uh, Make sure to also follow me on Instagram and join our Facebook group. Links are also in the description. And the next video will be again next week and most likely. So thanks for all the questions and comments and joining the show. Have a great Sunday evening and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.